hello um so today you're going to be uploading your videos and um kind of looking at them and renaming them if you if you need to and or refilming anything if you need to so let me show you something on the front of my desk i have these you're gonna have to share them i've only got like three or four of them so once you've uploaded them you'll want to make sure or use them you want to make sure that you then bring them back to the desk for another group to use um but this is called an sd card reader um when you slide this you can then get into the different types of reader spots um you're going to be working with this one and you'll notice on the other end there's a usb cord so you're going to plug this directly into the front of your computer and what we'll do then is it'll act as another drive and then you can then upload your video so once you have that you're going to return that back to the front of the desk now what you're going to do is you can see this is my google drive right now which is a little crazy but um you have already established your folder so i have my video production folder down here i'm going to double click inside of that we have a project folder we have we also had like in class work and then skill check so in my projects folder i'm going to go ahead and open that and then I'm going to go ahead and look, I already did it, my four day video. So if you're not sure how to do that, you can go to new, new folder, and then you'll make a new folder called the four day video. So within this, you are going to then upload your video. Okay. So for instance, I would go to new file upload. And then look for that drive. It's probably going to say something like Nikon, something, something. And you'll have to go through it and try to find your videos. Um, one thing I do to kind of help myself out when I'm looking for it is up here, I can click on like large icons instead, and it'll pop up them with my video imagery instead of anything else. And I can kind of look at it. Now, the one thing that you'll want to do after you have everything uploaded, though, so I'm going to just go ahead and close this part so I have a bunch of videos that are uploaded. Um, what's going to help you out, and this is part of the process, is looking at your video. You have to look at it and see, okay, oh, you know, this was not in focus, or crap, this did not catch it all what I wanted to. Um, or this is perfect, so I need to rename it. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at your video. And so here is a video of students. All right, okay, it looks in focus. We look good. I'm happy with that. Um, so that one is looking okay. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to rename it to help myself out. I'm going to right-click on it, and I am going to go to rename I'm going to say walk upstairs and hit OK. And I might have more than one of him walking up the stairs, which is fine. So I might have walk up the stairs, you know, B or C, or I might have walk up the stairs best because I think it's the best. But you and your group need to evaluate all of your footage together to make sure, first of all, you're not missing anything. And then second of all, rename it because it's going to help you so much when you start getting into the editing process. So once you have everything uploaded and you can check and see that everything is uploaded by um, when I over here, you'll see like a little upload window that pops up and you'll see a little circle that goes around and a little check mark that'll say that yes it's uploaded and then the proper way to remove your um drive is to click on that little arrow down here and you'll see a little icon for a drive and click on that and then hit eject if you just pull it out the world will keep spinning um it'll be fine but then make sure that you take that card out and put it back in your camera and then save it in there for another time. But I just want to make sure that you knew what you should be doing. And again, if you have questions on any of this, 
ask the advanced students. It can help you out with this. But we're all uploading it just to one student's drive because this one project you're working on together. Okay, so just to one student's drive.